So as Series 17 is very very quickly dawning on us, here are what happened with my predictions from a couple of weeks ago when I made this particular video going over what I thought would be in Series 17 versus what we're actually going to be getting. Now there is one new brand new to Forza car that is going to be coming to the game that I'm incredibly happy about and that will be left till the end of the video but uh, here are three of the other cars that we're going to be getting. We are going to be getting another brand new for, uh, brand new to Forza car I should say. Starting out with the 1965 Toyota Sports 800 which is a tiny little car which I didn't even know existed nor do I really know much about aside from it looks like somebody squished a 2000 GT which is a uh, it's still an interesting looking car, I'll definitely give it that. I cannot wait to see what kind of engine swaps we're going to get to put in that thing. Hopefully it's more than just that uh, inline 4 turbo that we keep getting for the Renaults from last season. And also we are getting, while we're on the topic of uh, Toyotas, the 1995 Toyota MR2 GT. Yes, the one back from Forza Horizon 4 is going to be returning once more, only about a year and a couple of months after the game released with the other MR2 already in it, and hopefully we'll also be getting those bumpers and body kits back from Forza Horizon 4, maybe with some new stuff too. And speaking of things coming back from Forza Horizon 4, I am doing amazingly with segues today, I'm very proud of myself, but this is the 1992 Mitsubishi Galant VR4, which has been around since the days of Forza Horizon 3, where it made its appearance as a traffic car, and also as a playable car, of course we had that a little later on in Forza Horizon 4's lifetime with the Mitsubishi car pack, but uh, now we also have it coming to Forza Horizon 5, officially, now in, I believe it was either the Winter or Spring series, I'm not quite, uh, season I should say, I'm not quite too sure on that one, I will have to go back and check the stream. However, it is just a traffic car no more, because we will be also able to drive the thing, sort of, uh, throw it at, well, I don't really know what, you can throw it at the mountain, you can put it onto dirt, you can take it cross country if you so wish. But the one I am looking forward to the most out of all of these brand new cars is the one I have kept till last. And it is the 2023 Nissan 400Z or Z Proto, however you wish to say it. But it has been confirmed for Forza Horizon 5 and will be appearing in summer of Series 17. So that is literally on the day of upload tomorrow. So um, I know how I'm going to be spending my Thursday. I'm honestly really looking forward to this thing, kind of hoping we have the Street Hunters sort of wide body for it, but uh, well if we do, we do, if we don't, well that's something that uh, hopefully they'll add back in eventually. But we are of course getting at 23 new Japanese branded rims and also 57 new car park themed props, so it's going to be interesting seeing what's going to happen with that as we already have props from Forza Horizon 3 with the skyscrapers, so who knows, somebody might start building another city, we could have somebody building Expansion 2 before Expansion 2 is officially actually released as Expansion 2. That made no sense, but uh, yeah, we've not had any news on that yet, which is a little bit of a shame considering we've already had news literally a few days ago about the brand new Forza Motorsport, which still doesn't have a confirmed release date. But all I know for that is uh, it will definitely be Series X, S and PC only, so over here on the Xbox One I am going to be suffering. Anyway, that is it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed, and let me know in the comments some cars that you wish they'll bring to Forza Horizon 5. Oh, and while I'm talking about Forza Horizon 5, from Series 5, if you want a chance to get the 2020 GTR again, then don't you worry because Series 17 has got you covered. So I'm excited to see where this is going to be heading, and uh, hopefully we're going to get less and less recycled cars and more and more new things. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll go ahead and see you all in the next one. Tech out. Bye. Okay, now I can have my coffee. I'll wait, this thing's still on!